Uh, yeah, uh Bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89 Came about my mama with goals, I had to grind That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind Back on my bullshit, Michael Jordan in 45 I got what you need, you need, just get in line One time got caught slipping, got caught up by one time Had my face all in the paper, but tears in my mama eyes We was on the block, boy, no JB, we looked alive Shoot the dice on the F, I lost it, then made it back Bet it up, double that, head crack, head crack Get the cash, get the ass, Steve Nash with the pass Got the drive, no crash, only do What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to our Seton Hall Dynasty here on MVP 07. We are the number one team in the nation in year three. Who would have thunk, man, in just three short years, we would have made the College World Series final and be the number one team in the nation here at this part in the season? I sure as hell did not, man. The team is looking great, you know, but uh, take a look at the top 25. It's us, Missouri. Southern Miss, Connecticut, uh, Tulane, uh, Louisiana Tech, Oregon State, Gonzaga, Long Beach State, Florida, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, uh, uh, Hawaii, North Carolina, Tennessee, Michigan, UAB, Minnesota, Iowa, South Carolina, them bums, I hate them, Sacramento State, Lehigh, Southern Illinois, LSU, and a surprising Army squad who jumped all the way up from 34. But with that, <laughs> we are last place in our division, I mean our conference. After, uh, you know, the uh, Tar Heel series went ahead and assimilated forward, we got swept by uh, Cincinnati, a conference foe, who's actually first place in the conference at five. They beat us 5-4 twice. Then we won two out of three games against Lehigh. And, of course, uh, you see here that we swept uh, Florida State. And in today's episode, man, we will be opening up our uh, Big East uh, conference schedule. So, you know, it's going to be one of those episodes where we jump into two games and then we play one full game. So we got a doubleheader here on the fourth against Georgetown. Go ahead and get ready to knock these down, knock these out. A lot of pitchers are pitching great. I believe in just our in our four losses that most of the losses are have been too, you know, in credit of our um of our bullpen. Right now we got our ace on the mound, John Johnson, six and no on the year, one, two, four ERA. 51 innings pitched, man. 29 strikeouts to 11 walks. Like, it doesn't get better than that. I didn't mean to back out, but now that I'm out anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see how he stacks up against some of these uh, other pitchers. Right now, for some reason, he's not up here for conference pitcher of the year, which is crazy as hell. And then it's something even crazier. He's not up here for Roger Clemens Award pitcher of the year. Like, what more does he have to do? He's 6-0, lower ERA, and less innings pitched and everything. He's better than this dude, better than this dude. So now, oh, he's got a zero ERA, but he's a he's a reliever, so that only makes sense. So they hoeing us, man. So John Johnson got to come out here and prove why he's one of the best pitchers in the nation. But nonetheless, here he is getting ready to pitch in his first game, going up against the 0-3 Solomon. We scored five runs in the first inning, and yeah, we're not going to have to jump into this one. As we get the 10-run rule here, Isaac John, I mean, Isaac Johnson. John Johnson moves up to 7-0. and uh, Looking at the box score, Rick Wright 2-4. for four. Kyle Foster two for four. Rick had an RBI. Roy went 0 for three. He's his batting average is struggling. Clevenger and Johnson at the bottom of the order three for four. Roy was the only person in the lineup that didn't get a hit this game. Uh, no home runs hit, but Clevenger, Zaniga, Foster all had doubles. Isaac Johnson had uh, had a triple. That's a good look. And uh, he moves up to seven and zero. So we're putting in good work there. Game two of this double header. Our man Dawson Halley's on the mound. Lineups looks good. Dawson Howley, also, he does have a loss. 2 and one 4 9 one ERA, but he's going against Mesa, who's 0-4, 7-0-9 ERA. Should be, should be easy. Oh, we're not scoring, though. Oh, are we, uh, look, boom. We put up a massive amount of runs at one time. LSR gets the save. Go ahead and take a look at the box score here. 11 hits to 10. We just made ours count the most. Uh, Pimentel, 2 for 5 with 2 RBIs. Rick. One for two with two RBIs. Kyle Foster, three for five with four RBIs. That's the type of game I need to see out of you. Uriah Rice, two for five. Rick and uh and Foster and Kyle both hit home runs. Uriah hit a double with Zelly. Isaac Johnson hit a triple, his third one of the season. Kyle Foster has 20 RBIs on the year now, baby. Let's go. All right, so we didn't have to jump into either one of those games. Big wins. Uh one o'clock game here on a Sunday. 
We should be able to come out here and get this W. Jake Jordan is on the mound. He's three and one on the year. Three, two, one, two ERA. Um, these, you know, only 14 strikeouts to 11 picks. I'm 11 picks. Oh my goodness, two 11 walks. But he should be all right out here today. We should definitely be able to get some run support. Take a look at our lineup. You know, three games in two days. Everybody's a little beat. You know how Pimentel gets. But he's going to lead off for us here today, followed by Roy Wright, Foster, Cummings. Did his batting average get any any better this year? His career average is 293, but the only thing that's really holding him is that 366 he batted the first year. Three home runs, 13 ribbies, but only 205 on, on the day. I did not mean to back out of that. Then we got Rice, Zaniga, Clevenger, Johnson. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my main man, Hunter, in here today. He's going to play in place of Zelly Cummins. We're facing a righty. He has decent contact, so that works out for me. Let's see. Can Pimentel play second? He cannot. Hunter could play third. So, you know, if he could play third, I feel like he could play second base, if anything. You know, Clevenger holds it down at, at third. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that. You see Head Headman's ERA, 407, 3 and 2. Jordan's 312 with a 3 3 and 1 record. We're ready to get it done. Looking at how we match up against these cats, man. We're A, they're D plus. We're B minus A, B minus A. They're D minus B minus C B minus. If we don't put up a lot of runs in this game, I'm going to be hot. Alright, guys. Clay Hammond's on the mound for them. You know. Well, we're not out here to talk. No games, man. Let's get to it, dog. Jacob Pimentel leading us off here today, and I just found out that he's a left-handed catcher. That's kind of weird, but nonetheless, fastball in. We started off with a double. Pimentel's a catcher, so you know he has a little bit of a trailer. We're going around looking for three, though. All right, hold up two. I don't. Oh wow, we definitely should have went three. You see the lineup here, Roy. Wow, he went from batting 400 to under 300. Come on now, pick yourself up here right now. Oh my goodness, that sinker was something serious. And a lot of you guys said we were going to run through the Big East this year, man. You know, I feel like we, I feel like we have a great chance of doing so as well. All-speed pitch, you know, but that that pitch is still going to always give me fits, no matter who we're playing. Roy having a very bad at bat here, down 0-2, and he strikes the hell out. Oh my goodness, the slur way out in front of that one, man. All right, Rick. Come on, get that off the screen. Come on, Rick. Come through here. We got to score in the first inning. Oh, uh, we don't stay back on it. Uh, but he's going to move Pimentel up to third. You know, productive AB. Now Kyle Foster can possibly hit him in. You got to come through here, kid. Let's go. Oh, that's... Okay. Start off with a leadoff double. Thought things was going to get ugly. This dude has buckled down quite a bit. There it is. All right. Kyle Foster with an extra base hit now. That's going to be a stand-up double for the slow DH. That a baby. Let's go. All right. At least we got one. We can't get the leadoff double and not score a run. That just can't happen. At least we put up one. Johnson's on the mound. He's a knuckleballer, and he gives up. Yo, I swear every game that we start off pitching with Johnson, we give up a base hit first pitch every single game. All right. Let's give me a knuckleball here. And if you guys feel like you're tripping, Johnson was a lefty, but he's now a righty. You know, the, the person who was Johnson said he wanted to throw righty. I usually don't grant those requests, but he's a channel he's a channel um, sponsor. So, you know, those guys, you know, I appreciate them. So I'm going I'm to I'm look them out just the same way they look me out. But right here, Johnson in trouble giving up back-to-back -back hits. Uh, pretty much all of his starts have started off like this. <laughs> I don't know why. It takes me a while to settle in with him. But when we do, it's pretty great. You know what I'm saying? But going back to the knuckleball here. Do your job. Okay, and we get our first fly out. Ozzy's there. Don't drop it because you have done stuff like that in the past. One dead. All right, we just need a ground ball here. Double play to get us out of this. Good pitch. One of these days, man, besides Howley, I'm going to give me a pitcher who really throws gas. <laughs> Oh, that a boy Rick tagged the bag. Double play. That's what I'm talking about, man. Huge. All right, so we don't do anything offensively there. But we come right back and give up a base hit up the middle. Jordan better settle in, man. He's got a good record and everything, but he'll go to the ball. Oh, that's a good bunt. Kleppinger making the play, and we got him. Ooh, bang, bang there. 
So they're threatening to tie this ball game back up for sure. All right, good pitch with the with the changeup. Changeup is just as fast as his fastball. There's no real change of speeds. Like even with his knuckleball, the knuckleball is pretty much as fast as the fastball. It doesn't really knuckle. It's just kind of straight. You know what I mean? We, we needed to knuckle like how D'Angelo Brandon's knuckles. All right, he's playing with his bat gloves just to get out here. Trying to strike, trying to sit you down, sir. See ya. Oh, what a layout there. Roy picking him up and he don't get him. Ah, Hunter. Zelly makes that play. So does Fatma. Now we're in trouble. Runners on the corner, but one out. Stupid. That time the knuckleball knuckle, but it gets smashed in. All right, it's, all, it's off the wall. It's not over the fence like I thought it would be. But RBI double. It's a big boy, too, who hit that. All right, man. So Georgetown is not looking to get swept here. Jake Jordan's just not pitching great. I'm not going to hold you. He's not pitching that good. Pitching, I mean, that was a pretty good knuckleball right there, but it was just hit pretty hard, man. There we go. Much needed. Get up, him and tell Damn, he took it forever. Two-seamer away. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was about to score, too. Woo! 9-1-2 coming up the bat for us, man. Uriah really just threw the ball with his glove, and he didn't throw it to the stands like the animation was suggesting. <laughs> Four, five, six coming. I mean, three, four, five coming up the bat for us. Rick Wright's 0 for 1 today. Did move a runner over, though. A sinker, man. We're late on it, too. It just gets me every time. Not that time, though. Right through the six hole. Rick gets his first base knock of the day. Our leading hitter is on. All right, Kyle Foster. One for one, for one with a double on the RBI here. Would love to see a bomb. Haven't hit a bomb with you at all this year. We get the fastball. It's hanging up and it's just in time for the center fielder to get there. Come on, Alex. I'm stealing right. Rick, hit and run here. Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. All right, come on, Uriah. Come on, too. What do you say now? We need you. Got to way back on the changeup, but it still gives Rick enough time to steal the bag. Not something you see every game. Starting first baseman Rick Wright with his stolen bag. Perfectly timed jump and pitch. There he is, Uriah. Jeez, oh, man, if, it, if I could hit this sinker. Come on, baby. Oh, we strike out on the palm ball. Unable to wait back. Damn. All right, here's, here's the double play ball we need right here, right? Got it. Oh, it's a, it's a ground ball. It's just hit hard up the middle. And they got runners on first and second with one out. All right, here's Cody Seafield, the left fielder. He's the one with the RBI double. Definitely need to keep it out of his hot zone. John Roy falling, not going to be able to make a play. He still tries that second. Everybody's safe, B. All right. Bases loaded, one out. Time to warm up a pitcher. I'm going to go with our main man. LSR is not ready. I'll go with Rasheed Mack. Here we go. Got to make a tough pitch. Good pitch with the changeup. Let's try the two-seamer inside. Jam him up. Good pitch. Good pitch. Let's go, baby. Settling in. Knuckleball. And make the play, too. Did we get him? Oh, this close. All right. We're one out away from getting out of this jam, baby. Stupid. Another really knuckleball, nickel. and that's out of here. That's a grand slam. Wow. Wow. Just like that, Georgetown it takes a four-run lead with a grand slam, two-out grand slam at that. Wow. That's, that, that was not. Wow. Wow. Knuckleball just wasn't there today. Is that, that time we throw the knuckleball, get a ground ball, and we finally get out of this inning. Come on, kid. Get down the line. Jeez, oh, man. Oh, a lot of speed. Don't he's in there. That's an infield single. Y'all better not say that's an error. Yes, sir. Speed kills, and they know it. Pimentel's one for two with a double. Looks like they gave him the error, but I don't care. Here we go, Pimentel. 
Give me the fastball. And we answer back with a home run of our own, baby. No doubt shot. Let's go. That's an absolute bomb. Way to get two of them things back. We cut the lead in half, man. Woo, look at that. Look at that swing. He knew it. Wow. It's his second. is the first two RBIs of the game. Ups his average to 284. I love it, man. I love it. All right, man. So we answer back and get two runs of our own. Johnson's day is done. We're going to go ahead and shove in Rasheed Mack. Going to the righty. See what he can do with this slurve. Gets an out on the first pitch. I like it. So let me find out the slurve is his, is his out pitch. He gets a pop-up now behind third base. Shallow left field. Kleppinger is there. Two dead. All right, here we go. Three pitches, three outs. Nope, they get a home run back of their own. Wow. It's a home run derby out here today, ain't it? I don't know why I threw the damn slurve inside to a lefty. That's on me. That's on me. That just wasn't a, that just wasn't a good pitch. I just wasn't thinking. Two-seamer away, and he beats us down the line. Show it off, Uriah. Oh, okay. He knew better. All right. Looks like we were going to get out of this with no problem. Clevenger feels that, fires the first, and we're out of the inning finally. Please stay in the ballpark. Oh, what a play by Ozzy, man. Wow. Way to climb and scale the wall, baby. He doesn't get much better than that. Whew, that was lucky. That was lucky for sure. Come on, Matt. Get us out of this, baby. That a boy. All right, man. Three, four, two, three, four up the bat. They're bringing in the lefty, though. Ah, got. Mm. Oh no, it drops in. I could lose my. I could lose my two, dude. Let's go. Way to start us off here, John Roy. What is in my nose? Jeez, oh man. Come on, Rick. I want you. Pause. Fastball. What is take? Why did John Roy take forever to? Wow, he really paused for line drive. But wow, this game hates me. This game hates me so much, bro. It really does. They come out the. Uh, there goes the there goes the part of the lineup we wanted. We needed to do something, man. Middle of the eighth inning. Good pitch. All right, Hunter making the play. Let's go. Cody Seafield, two for three with a double and a ribby. I'm going to leave Mack in to face him. And Mack gives up a single. What? Is, that was a horrible route, Uriah. Got him down, though. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Ah. All right, let me go to this pin. Go ahead and sub in Page. Fresh arm. Oh, it's a lefty. Wow, I should have bought him in last... Wow, I should have bought him on last batter. Had no clue that he was a, a lefty. Oh, and Ozzy's a nigga making another great play. That a boy, man. All right, fellas, it comes down to this. Five, six, seven, let's go. All right, so they bring in a new pitcher here. Alex Hunter up for us. Tries to wait back on the off-speed pitch. He does, but it's still an easy ground ball to the shortstop. That's out number one. Freshman year, Ryan Rice is 0 for 3 with a strikeout today. Definitely need him to get his life together. That a baby. Get through. Woo. Let's go. We've gotten hits, man, but we either just hit into a double play or just, you know, eventually just don't move runners around. You know what I'm saying? Ozzy, shoot that one down the line. You're right. You're right. Right. That speed. And so does Ozzy Zaniga. All right. We got runners on second and third. We are in business with one out. We are in business with one out. Zelly Cummins. Having his first A-B of the day. He wasn't even supposed to play today. But we need him right here. Uh, he grounds out to the third baseman. Isaac Johnson, we need you. Come on, kid. Come through for me, please. Come on, get down, ball. I mean, it's going to get down, but it's going to be foul. That would have been like a triple, too, if Isaac got that. Whew. Come on, kid. Come on, ones. Fastball, get down, and Skyly is not, man. And we lose a tough one here to Georgetown. That grand home runs were the killer. We gave up a grand slam and a solo shot. So ultimately, we got the job done. I mean, we won two out of three, but, you know, Jordan gets his second loss of the season. Pimentel, two for four with a bomb. 
Foster two for four with an RBI. Hunter and uh, didn't get a hit. Hunter and Isaac were the only two starters that didn't get a hit. Just uh, you see here, doubles from Zaniga Pimentel Foster, home run for Pimentel, two RBIs for Pimentel, an uh, RBI for Foster. Stolen base for Rick Wright is second of the year. We gave up four RBIs to McCoy, one RBI to Conti, and that's that's you know who 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 got the job done. So with Kleppinger's injury in that game. Strain left rib cage and will be out for one to two weeks. That's awesome. I'll have them fix auto fix and then we'll go ahead and check it out, see what they did. So with that loss, we move down to number two in the nation. Let's go look at our new lineup. A little batting order here. Nothing much has changed except for Seckle is going to be our new starting third baseman. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think I want to have Hunter start. Definitely against righties. Well, Sekou has that power, so I guess we'll see what, how that we'll see how it works after one game. It's been a minute since Sekou started. We moved down to 19 and five. Take a quick look at the like new top 10. We're not gonna look at the whole top 25. Missouri overtakes us at 22 and six. We're 19 and five, and we take a tough loss, man. Um, hopefully, we'll find a way to bounce back. We're seventh in our conference. Like as of right now, we wouldn't even make the conference tournament. So we got to find a way to get better, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.